Welcome to Infinity. In this episode, you'll see the biggest woman whose diet will make you feel unwell, a guy who didn't eat for more than a year to lose weight, people that lost hundreds of pounds and changed beyond recognition, other biggest and heaviest people, and fierce transformations. There are three types of people that want to gain weight. Firstly, those are sportsmen if it's about the muscle mass. Secondly, there's thin people that got tired of bone rattling. And thirdly, it's Susan Eamon. It's not enough that she's considered the biggest and heaviest living woman. She even tries to become even bigger and heavier. The weight equal to 725 to 775 pounds seems to be not imposing enough, and she tries to reach the mark of 15 hundred pounds. Initially, she was of a normal weight, but after two pregnancies, she gained weight. Suzanne started to keep to different diets. She trained, but her weight didn't go down. Each time, she got it back, and she put on even more extra pounds. Suzanne simply put up with this, and she even became a plus-size model. Then she came across an article about people that were listed in the Guinness Book of Records due to their weight, and she also decided to go down in history. Suzanne started to keep an extreme diet of 20,000 calories a day. She was lucky that her partner, Parker, not only simply supported this strange idea but turned out to be a cook. He started to actively feed Suzanne. He prepared a lot of food for her, and he spent eight hours in a shop to buy a weekly food program. After hearing about the diet of Suzanne, you may feel unwell. For example, she eats a huge omelet, more than a pound of bacon, two pounds of potatoes, and a lot of burgers. All this is washed down with liters of soda and milk cocktail. As a snack, the record breaker ate crackers, chips, ice cream, and chocolate. Is it worth telling you about how dangerous this is for your health? Seemingly, it was not worth it. Several years ago, Suzanne fell off the radar and she didn't appear on the internet anymore. They say that she's still alive, but she doesn't dream of a record anymore. Seemingly, she managed to understand how harmful and deadly it is, and due to this, she saved herself. However, it doesn't always end well if it's possible to call it good and happy. There are also other examples, and this is what the story of Amen Ahmed Abdel proves. Suzanne Eamon is supposed to be jealous of this Egyptian woman. After all, her weight was more than 1,100 pounds. She occupied the second place in the list of the biggest and heaviest women in history. By the way, you'll get acquainted with the main record breaker soon. Amman was big at birth. What's more, she had problems with thyroid gland. In a nutshell, this is not the case when the girl ate pounds of food to gain weight. It was a consequence of a terrible disease. Things were so bad that the girl could not attend school classes, and later she was not able to get around. She started to lead a lying way of life, and she found herself locked at home at the age of 25 years old. In 2017, this reached a critical point, and they decided to save the Egyptian woman. Literally, they attracted specialists that broke the wall of her house. They used a construction crane, they loaded her into a truck, and they sent her by a freight plane to India for special hospitalization. They exposed a lot of concurrent diseases and genetic failures that could no longer regulate body weight. The Egyptian woman was prescribed a strict diet consisting exclusively of liquid. In the first two weeks, she lost 220 pounds, then 330 pounds more due to surgical operations. Amman lost half of her weight just within several months. However, the harm to her body was irrevocable. However, doctors may have tried. It was almost impossible to rescue Amman, and she died half a year after evacuation from her house. 1,100 pounds is something incredible. We can hardly believe that a person can weigh so much in principle. However, it's far from the limit. Carol Yeager holds an absolute record among girls. She's an American woman who is considered the heaviest woman for the whole history of medicine. The maximum weight of Carol accounted for 1,602 pounds. Though it was not officially confirmed, many doctors are sure that it's true. Her officially registered weight accounted for 1,199 pounds. This happened posthumously. Here, it's without surprises. With such a huge weight, people don't usually live a long and full-fledged life. Carol lived just 34 years, and she died in 1994. Carol did not try to go down in history this way, but her body decided otherwise. From her childhood, she suffered from an eating disorder. 
As a result of psychological traumas, this aggravated even more. In the end, Jaeger fully lost control over eating. She didn't assess the amount of food that she consumed anymore, and she gained 1,500 pounds by 20 years of age. Needless to say, it was not possible to walk with such a weight. No muscles would withstand it. It's also obvious that concurrent health problems were just a matter of time. Carol developed kidney impairment and other conditions that led to her death at an early age. Unfortunately, there are no photos of Carol Yeager before and after the transformation. There are only a few shots with her. However, there are other illustrative cases of transformations of people that you'll see in this episode. This is John Brower Minock, another resident of America. If Carol Yeager is the heaviest woman in history, then he is the heaviest man. At his peak, he weighed 1,400 pounds, it's 8 to 10 times more than an ordinary person. As well as Carol Yeager, he also had problems since his childhood. At the age of 12 years, John weighed almost 300 pounds and in his youth up to 440 pounds. His normal weight was considered 880 pounds. Surprisingly, he somehow managed to work with such a weight. He drove a water taxi and he owned a company. At some point, he found it hard not only to work, but also walk. As a result, he was bedridden and it was necessary to save him and hospitalize him. For this, they had to involve about 10 firefighters and rescuers, specially modified stretchers, and even a ferry boat for transportation. He was prescribed a strict diet in hospital. 1,200 calories. At times, he gave up and he gained weight again. For a week, he'd put on almost 200 pounds, and this became a record of the quickest increase in weight. However, he tried to control himself, and he lost weight this way. John even set another record. He lost almost 900 pounds in hospital within two years. He became a record of weight loss among men. However, this story had a sad ending. In 1983, John passed away. Such a huge weight and health problems are incompatible with longevity. Even after this experience with diets, John remained too heavy, and to such an extent that his coffin occupied two places in the graveyard. Do you still remember how many calories Suzanne Eamon consumed to weigh 1,500 pounds? If not, I'll remind you, 20,000. And if you think that's a limit, that's not the case. The next person in the selection, Kenneth Brumley, consumed 30,000 calories a day. His weight did not reach 1,500 pounds, but he became the heaviest man. He's called one of the heaviest men in history of medicine, as well as the heaviest living person in the world. He weighs 1,031.8 pounds. Even a documentary film was dedicated to him with the epic name Half Ton Father. Interestingly, his story is different from the majority of all the previous ones. There were no hormonal failures, disorders, or other problems. What's more, he was a sportsman up to 19 years old. He played basketball, baseball, and American football. But at some point, he blew off activity, started to overeat, and lost all control in the end. Kenneth ate almost nonstop, and he consumed an amount of food equal to 60 burgers a day. As a result, he gained so much weight that he couldn't get around independently. As well as that Egyptian woman, they had to take him out of his house by breaking the walls. Later on, everything developed classically examination, strict diet, and weight loss. In addition, Kenneth had his fatty overgrowths and his legs removed. He felt better, but he still remains heavy. It's not known what's happening to him now. Take a look at this guy. He's quite an ordinary man without any health problems and certainly weight, right? What if I tell you that it's him but several years ago and heavier than 500 kilograms was something? It's difficult to believe, but it's the simple truth. Approximately 10 years ago, the resident of Saudi Arabia named Khalid was considered the heaviest man on the planet. He was a little more than 20 years old. He weighed 1,344.8 pounds, to be exact. Khalid had serious problems since his childhood. That's why he gained weight very quickly. Everything became so bad that Khalid couldn't even get up from his bed. To survive, he used an oxygen mask. The stress on the heart and other organs was great. Later, he ended up in the classic situation of rescue. Workers had to dismantle the wall. They took the guy out of the house with the help of a construction crane. There, another record was revealed. Khalid had a record high body index, 204. By way of comparison, ordinary people had this indicator of about 20 to 25. Then he had to go through operations, rehabilitations, and other moments that we'll omit. I'll just say that at first, he lost 705 pounds and managed to breathe properly without masks. Four years after the operation, 
He weighed 150 pounds. After removing superfluous skin and such an enormous weight loss, he started to look completely different. Now he's literally another person. If it's so, I'll tell you about other interesting transformations of the biggest people in the world. We'll start with Pauline Potter. She's interesting at least for two reasons. Firstly, it's exactly she was considered the biggest and heaviest woman in the world. Secondly, she managed to get rid of 440 pounds, which is impressive. In 2011, she was listed in the Guinness Book of Records with a weight of 643.8 pounds. The peak, her weight was more than 661 pounds. Pauline ate each hour, and she was not restricted in terms of food. In the long run, she became a hero of a reality show with participants suffering from obesity and trying to lose weight anyway. Under the tutelage of the doctor, Pauline went through the gastric partitioning. She kept to a strict diet that was a real torture for her in the very beginning and she was later operated to remove superfluous skin. As a result, Pauline lost 110 pounds, then she gained 245 pounds, and she changed considerably. Truth be told, she put on weight again, and as she recognizes, problems are in her head, and until they're solved, no operations or diets will help. Of course, all these stories impress us, but they're rather boring and monotonous, right? Obesity, rescue, operations, diets, everything goes according to the same scenario. Let's relieve it with a really interesting and phenomenal case. It's the 27-year-old Angus Barbieri who became its hero. He was not as big and heavy as the people you've seen today. At the same time, he was not so small. He weighed about 440 pounds. It's much more interesting how he tried to lose weight. There were no operations, no diets. After all, Angus did not eat at all. He did without food for more than a year. I'm talking in complete earnest and without exaggeration. It's a confirmed fact. The guy was starved for 382 days. For this time, he lost 275 pounds and weighed 180 pounds as a result. You have a logical question in your head. How did he survive? How did he manage to starve for so long? Everything is due to a team of doctors that arranged a special diet for him. It included multivitamin complexes, sources of all the amino acids and other important elements. Without them, Angus would have died a month later. Other than that, he drank beverages with zero calories, water, tea, and coffee. At the end of the diet, he started to add sugar and milk. This story is something like a voluntary experiment. Angus and doctors planned to carry it out for 40 days. However, upon their expiration, the patient said that he felt well and he decided to continue. Doctors were attentively following Angus and his diet. They also took samples from the man to look at the parameters of his body. Surprisingly, the samples were completely normal or with slight abnormalities. What's more, Angus continued doing his daily routine as if nothing had happened. At first, he even worked in his father's snack bar. However, several weeks later, he quit this job not to be tempted to eat something tasty. After the termination of the starving period, Angus ate one boiled egg that seemed to him a real delicacy, as well as a piece of bread with butter. As he said, he had completely forgotten how food tasted and what it means to enjoy a meal. Five years later, after the termination of the experiment, he gained some weight. He weighed 196 pounds, but that's not so critical. On top of that, he didn't encounter any negative changes and consequences. Doctors came to the conclusion that reasonable starvation under the tutelage of specialists is a real way to get rid of superfluous pounds. In turn, the character proved that he had the strongest willpower in history. Samantha Mason looks like this now. When you look at this shot, you won't believe that it's the same person as that in this photo. Samantha Mason weighs 948 pounds, 970 pounds here. Several years ago, she was among the heaviest and biggest people on the planet. Everything started in her childhood. At the age of seven years, for example, Samantha weighed 154 pounds, which is abnormal for a child. By the age of 30 years, her weight was about 880 pounds. Samantha became so big that her stomach served as a table for the meal. You could put several dishes on it at once. At some point, Samantha even found a way to earn money. As she was so heavy that she couldn't move, she started to host domestic streams, eating on camera and receiving donations for this. Fortunately, she managed to understand in time that it was enough to wait a little bit more and she wouldn't be able to host these streams. She applied for the participation in a talk show dedicated to the topic of obesity. She became the heaviest participant for the whole history of the project, and she started to actively lose weight. Just within three months, she lost 330 pounds on a supervised diet, and she got rid of 440 pounds. 
Now she looks absolutely normal. You won't think that she suffers from obesity. But I answered the door twice. Today, you've already seen a guy that had lost a record amount of weight. I'm talking about John Minnick and the 899 pounds he lost. That guy from Saudi Arabia also lost a lot of weight. There's also an incredible achievement among women. It belongs to Rosalie Bradford. This American woman was listed in the Guinness Book of Records twice, at first as the heaviest woman and then as the one that lost the most superfluous pounds. At the height, she weighed 1,199.3 pounds. For you to understand how bad it is, the only activity that she could perform was to clap her hands. So in the end of the 80s, she started her long way towards losing weight that was beyond all expectations. For a total, the woman lost 917 pounds, which became the world record. There were also failures and repeated attempts to lose weight again. In the issue, her weight settled down at the mark of 198 pounds, with 66 pounds accruing to superfluous skin. Possibly it was worth leaving everything as it was. The thing is that as a result of complications after the operation for the removal of excess skin, Rosalie died. She was 63 years old then. Fortunately, it's not always that fortune is so tragic. There are unique, agile, talented people that you cannot take your eyes off. For sure, you know about this challenge where you have to take a gold ingot out of the glass cube through a hole. Someone may think that it's not difficult, but it's not the case. Because of the features of the gold, such an ingot can weigh up to 26 and a half pounds. And even if you're a trained person, it's not the fact that you succeed in doing so. This makes the achievement of this girl even tougher. She managed to take out three ingots of different sizes. There were no problems with two, but the last was obtained uneasily. Here you can see only one ingot, but it's clear that it's very heavy. Whereas the hole is too small, you seem to have no chances. The man had a talent for such challenges. He accurately moved the ingot to the glass and put it. Then it was about your technique and powerful wrist. I hope he got the gold he deserved. It seems to me that people who are capable of taking out the heaviest gold ingots must have incredible blow power. You can check it on the so-called punch machine. In your city, you have not many of them for sure. By the way, right here what hitting power you have. If 999, I'll be surprised. After all, it's difficult to get this indicator. However, this boxer did it easily. What's interesting, he did it twice. Yes, he shot from the squat. This is what provided additional power. But judging from the figures, his power was more than a thousand. You better not fight with this one. People mastering martial arts are something. Their feet and hands should be registered as weapons. This Turkish guy is worth being considered the latter. He smashed 37 concrete plates in a row with his elbow. This Taekwondo practitioner named Ali was listed in the Guinness Book of World Records for such an insane achievement. It seems to me that if you give him a day, he'll be able to destroy a house instead of that truck with an iron ball on the chain. It's interesting if Ali feels pain when he accidentally hits himself against something with his elbow, or does he not care about that at all? We have another strongman in line, a karate practitioner, doing the splits and taking a hit from boards or bricks. In what way? They're rather broken against his steel hands. His hands are strong, whereas he has to have his head trained and strengthened. He did not manage to cope with this blow. All right, we'll not have something of this kind later on, just skills and professionalism without any failures. Along with this, it's a monk from Shaolin that's next in line. These guys do not know what a failure is. How can you explain that this monk breaks stones with his fingers? Seems that it's impossible to do something similar even with four fingers. The man easily broke the first boulder with his four fingers, a second one with two, and the final one with a single index finger. You better not bet with this monk, his fingers resemble sticks made of steel. Speaking of steel, if the Shaolin monk has steel fingers, then this guy has a steel leg. I don't exaggerate this. Check out how easily he twisted the steel beam with his unkillable leg. Leave a like if you also felt pain in the wrinkle while watching this clip. Here's another guy who turned his wrinkle into a full-fledged bat. He does not restrict himself to iron beams and breaks wooden sticks, tree trunks, concrete, walls, and so on. It'll be in vain if you imprison this guy. He'll destroy the bars in a matter of a minute and he'll run away freely. 
you can surprise not only with insane strength, but incredible precision and timing. This guy is really talented. Standing on his hands, he managed to precisely hit the toilet paper plug with a ping pong ball. Of course, he's not likely to do this in 100 cases out of 100 for sure. There were a number of unsuccessful rounds. Anyway, he should be respected for precision. Next characters of this episode are even more accurate and precise. This guy practices axe throwing. In principle, this is a difficult case. The axe can hit and rebound right at the thrower. However, it doesn't concern this one. He thrust three from four axes so close to each other that it's very difficult to believe in it. It's even more difficult to believe in what happened to one of the darts events. Darts players are accurate in principle. However, this darts player outperformed everybody. The first dart hits the most important sector, 20, a second one falls into the first, and a third into the second. Moment in a billion or luck. You just call it what you want. As far as I'm concerned, it was a super skill that even Robin Hood would be jealous of. From the outside, this girl may seem to be deaf and dumb or that she gives gang signs. But in this case, we can see not a ghetto gangster, but a living calculator. These swings help the girl to instantly calculate by heart. I think you've already understood the rules. She has to keep track of figures changing, consecutively add and subtract, and write down the answer. You can try to compete with her. If your final answer is six, my congratulations. You will not need a calculator, at least to add and subtract. We continue on the subject of speed. Next in line is a girl from China who counts money quicker than a special cash machine does. The yuan are counted left to right. I don't even quite understand the technique. So quickly does she skim through the notes. After watching a second video, everybody in China seems to count money as quickly as she does. This bank worker has a little bit more understandable counting technique, but only in part. At some moment, he started to skim through the notes, applying the method of the flash girl from the accountant office. The Chinese are supposed not to have a choice. Their economy grows very quickly. So you have to be able to count money in a flash. These videos remind me of a phrase. Whatever you do well, you'll always find an Asian person who will do this better than you. The next clip is another confirmation to this saying. The worker from India puts stamps on paper, not only quicker than any person, but any device as well. All right, maybe a machine would be faster than him. At the same time, that would not be so spectacular, right? The Japanese are also not inferior. This girl puts stamps at the speed of light. Everything happens so fast that it seems that she seems to have exactly missed the majority of papers. However, that's not the case. In slow motion, you can see that each paper was stamped. It's always funny to observe professionals of their craft, even if it seems to be a trivial thing, watermelon cutting. When you look at how this guy works, it does not seem to you that he does something trivial. As far as I'm concerned, this is real art. This curly guy also likes cutting. Not watermelons, but pizza. He does so at an incredible speed. To cut one pizza, he needs a split second. Could you do the same thing? Those are not only pizza workers, but also traders who can surprise. These are the guys that will always find how to strike a crowd. This guy also works with pizza, but it's not interesting to make it as usual. That's why he decided to throw it in the air. It's surprising, but it comes back to him as a boomerang. It's interesting how much paste he wasted before he learned how to make this trick. In any case, it's worth it. Only this action alone looks very epic. At the same time, he also rotates and twirls the pastry in his hands as if it had been a basketball and a finger. I'd found myself in that place. I would have definitely bought food from him. Can you draw? What can you draw on a piece of paper? Maybe just a small house and the sun in the corner of the paper? Or are you so advanced that you can easily draw a beautiful portrait? Can you draw several portraits simultaneously? I think you're not capable of it, whereas this mega painter is. With the help of a special device, he drew several portraits of the characters played by Johnny Depp. They're all of a good quality. The heroes are easily recognizable. It boggles the mind how this is possible. There are even more skilled painters who draw several pictures simultaneously, by hands and feet, and in different colors. Fans of films about superheroes, especially Spider-Man, must simply press the like button for this beauty. Do you remember a five-year-old challenge where you had to open a bottle of water with a foot? Then all the networks were full of videos with people trying to epically remove a cap off the bottle. As for this guy, he moved the challenge to a new level. No swings with feet, just caps, sleight of hand, and no fraud. 
All right, some fraud really does exist. It's obvious that he did not do without special effects and editing. However, even so, the thread looks really spectacular. On the other hand, the next video does not contain any editing, however hard it would be to believe it. After all, this is a jewelry work of art. We all know how difficult it can be to run a thread through this pitifully small eyelet. However, they managed to do so with the help of an excavator. A worker moved closer to the apple with a needle inside, ran a thread through an eyelet with the help of the scoop, and took out the needle. It's interesting how long he's had the thread training to perform this trick. How could he see from the cabin where he had to run a thread? However, when you learn that this trick was performed by a worker from China, you remember that these mega Asians, a couple of attempts are enough to turn around the impossible. Such an unusual question. What knots do you know? For sure, almost all of you know only one kind, the sea knot. On the other hand, now you know that there are also human knots. It does not only look impressive, but also dreadful. Anyway, you shouldn't worry about it. This was Alexei Golobarodko, who was tied. What's more, he didn't feel any discomfort. He was rightfully called the most flexible in the world. This guy seems to have no bones in his ligaments, stretched as much as possible. He can fold himself in any pose, put his legs behind his neck, fall into a split in an incredible way, and so on. With such inhuman flexibility, he should play in horror films. Just imagine how creepy this could be. But Alexei preferred to use his super capabilities not to terrify, but to impress people. He performs in the Cirque du Soleil. Cirque du Soleil is considered super prestigious, with top circus actors and acrobats performing. Nobody argues that. At the same time, there are unknown, but no less tough guys that can also strike with their skills. This team of stuntmen performs their acts not under the cupola of a luxurious circus, but right in the village, on the sand, and without any insurance. All these huge towers, rifts, somersaults, and support teams look very epic. I hope they'll be noticed and admitted to some top circus. The guys are really talented. What do you think? Will you be able to tie a knot with your tongue? Seems to me that there are not many people who can. Those are only a handful who are capable of this. This girl does not only make knots with her tongue, she literally makes a pattern. It's interesting, she does it at a very high speed. Within a couple of seconds, she makes chains from a red thread. This skill is unlikely to be useful. Despite that, this looks epic and impressive. Our following character of the selection has more useful skills. He works in the clothes shop and sets out wares. He does that at the speed of light. Check out how fast he lays out jeans. Everything happens within a half a second or something like this. Possibly he spends some two minutes setting out all the goods on the showcase. What do we do when we need to transport some heavy technical devices? Of course, we call the loaders or invite a friend and try to take a heavy object out of the house together. What does this Brazilian do? He takes the lead. He put a refrigerator on his back and easily carried it on his neck. Do you think that's all? What's more, he mounted his bike and went somewhere with this cargo. He didn't lose balance. The fridge didn't fall. This was some Superman. It's no secret that freestyle football is not an easy discipline. You can say it. Even the trivial ball kicking is difficult for many. By the way, write in the comments what record you have. Do you think that it's better than the one this girl has? Seems to me that it's unlikely. She's perfect at playing with a ball, controlling it, showing her skills, and performing tricks. What's more, this all is in a dress and high heels, not comfortable boots and shorts. There's both back and front somersault. At the same time, there is a back salto in the front direction. That sounds strange, doesn't it? However, we cannot call this stunt otherwise. It's not enough that he made such a somersault, but it was also the part of a series of other complicated elements. Concerning the moment of salto performance by an acrobat, you get the impression that the physic laws stopped functioning for a while. This is how unnaturally and incredibly this looked. Next in line, we have an ability that's difficult to describe somehow. The girl balanced on a board, standing on a cylinder, and tossed plates, catching them with her head. Seems to me that even the Guinness Book of World Records would find it difficult to title this record. After all, some of them have insane names. In any case, the girl did a good job. It's not so easy to both keep balance and catch plates with your vertex. Who said balance? I'm savvy at this. This is what a monk from the next video stated and went out to prove that the laws of physics do hardly extend to him. When tourists were suffering and puffing, trying to climb a very high mountain, holding onto ropes, a Buddhist trickster easily climbed to the peak on his two legs without any support. What's more, he was barefooted. It was something like Saitama from One Punch Man, but in real life. 
A really good cook can prepare a dish with his eyes closed. Some perceive that figuratively, the others literally. This is the chef Hiro Torada who makes sushi. For all his life, he cut so many vegetables that now he can do this with a bandage on his eyes. Along with this, he maintains a phenomenal speed. Slices are accurate and even. No finger was hurt while cutting. If the onion starts to offend Hiro's eyes and he cries, despite that, he'll be able to complete an onion blindly. In general, this is a cool skill from this tough cook. A pit stop is an obligatory part of each long race. Speed plays a very important role. People who are not interested in Formula One can think that a pit stop takes 10 to 15 seconds. However, this is not the case. Now, less than two seconds are given to update the race car. Look at how quickly the pit stoppers carried out their job. 1.82 seconds. Then a racer continues driving. He can't even have a rest and relax. And in the past, everything was much longer. In the middle of the last century, a pit stop could last two to three minutes. So the pilot could chill out and catch his breath. The wheels were removed manually. There were no screwdrivers, bolts were hammered, and the race car itself was serviced by a couple of people. For the recent years, the progress in pit stops has been considerable. You can make each thing into a show if you're a professional, even when it comes to popcorn filling for cinema clients. Jason from the USA is unrivaled in this. He's a real king of popcorn. He fills bales with popcorn quickly and elegantly. He also rotates these bales on a finger like a basketball. This is the very moment where the performance before a film can be much more interesting than the film itself. Some people like popcorn, others break coconuts barehanded. Everybody who bought coconuts knows that it's very difficult to break them with a fist. However, this Indian named Abish has no problems with it. Look at how subtly he cracks coconuts, as if those had been no thick nuts but some hen eggs with a thin shell. Within 47 seconds, he dealt with 124 coconuts, set the world Guinness record, and proved that you'd better not approach him when he's angry. Thanks for watching. What impressed you the most in this episode? Let me know in the comments and subscribe to the channel.